Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Yeah. This is Michael, and I have got your profile. Today, I am going to be your interviewer. I will be testing some of your Java coding skills. Okay. So, shall we start then? Yes, sir. You can start. Okay. So, first of all, I would like to ask you that one question, which is very popular in these interviews. In Java, you might have heard about strings, right? Yes, sir. So, in Java, can you tell me that how strings are immutable in Java? Uh, sure, sir. Definitely. Actually, strings are called immutable because we can just create copies of the string. We cannot change the string. Okay. So, if you want me to demonstrate, I can show you an example. Yes. So, can you tell me how we can do that? What are the concepts that we use to make strings mutable? Yes. Okay. First, let me show you why strings are called immutable. Then I will show you how we can create mutable strings. Okay. Okay. So, let me just create a simple program. Say first, let me create a package called strings. Okay, and in this package, I'm creating a simple program. Say example one. Here I will have the main method. Okay, say I'm taking a string name is equal to say Ravi. Okay. Now, say if I write s out name dot to uppercase or to lowercase, and after that, if I print the original string, you will find that we are not able to change the original string name. Okay, let me run this and show you. You can see. Uh, this is the lowercase string. So here everything was R was capital here. You can see, but after that, when we change it to lowercase, we got this. But again, when I'm printing the original string, we are getting the exact original string, which is R capital W. Okay, so we are not able to do this. This is why strings are called immutable. Okay. okay, so we can create mutable strings in Java with the help of two special classes. They are called string buffer and string builder. Okay. So, can you tell me the difference between them? Yeah. Uh, one is synchronized and one is non-synchronized. Okay. So, that is the main difference between them. And I can show you an example so that you can understand how we can create mutable strings. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. I want to show. I want to see the example program, uh, and then we will move on. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Let me just minimize this. I'll create one more program. Say buffer example. Okay. And I'm just going to use some predefined methods. So let me have the main method here. And I'll create an object of the string buffer. And I will say sbf is equal to new string buffer. And inside the parenthesis, I have to pass the string say i will say java okay and after that if i say s out original string plus sbf and again, if I say in the string buffer class, we have a special method called append. So I'll use that sbf.append. Here I can append a string, say programming. Okay. I've given one space intentionally so that I don't jumble the words. Now, after that, if I print the same variable or object, I can just say something like this new string plus I'm doing normal concatenation. Okay, let's see what we are getting here. We'll run this. Okay, you can see here. So the original string was Java, and after concatenation with the append method, we are getting Java program. 
so this is how we can create mutable strings in java by using string buffer we can do the same thing with the help of builder as well okay so can you please elaborate that builder part also how sure i will do that yes part? i will create the same thing here only in the can i do it in the same file yeah yeah sure, sure. okay so i will create a same object but now this will be from the string builder class okay string builder sbl is equal to new string builder here i will pass the same thing say java and s out original string this time i will concatenate the builder and after that i'm just using the append method from the builder class as well sbl dot append okay there are many other methods i am just demonstrating only one method so here i will say the same thing programming and now i will just print out the message like this new string plus sbl okay and let me just do one thing i will say buffer and here i will say builder so that we can differentiate okay let me run this now yes sir you can see we can achieve the same thing with the help of both buffer and builder okay okay so this is looking exactly the same how can you prove me that builder is good or buffer is good can you tell me which one is more efficient by proving something through programming can you show me the time yes yes actually i can do that so the thing is that uh, when we use the builder class it is more efficient and it takes less time while doing larger calculations okay larger manipulations so i can show you that sure 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 i will yeah. just uh, make some tweaks in the same program so that you can understand so i have showed you the append program what i will do is i will try to append a text into a string uh n number of times and i will calculate the time as well so that we can understand which takes more time and less time based on that we can calculate the time complexity of course super that that will work okay fine i will do that so let me just remove this i don't need this at all so i will just use a for loop here so for int i is equal to 1 i less than say 100 i plus plus so for that particular number of time i am appending this text i hope you can understand it yes. so in java i am adding programming 100 times yeah okay and same thing i will do it for the other one also for the builder so i will say let me just copy this line and i have to close it here okay so i am adding ja programming to the buffer object and i am doing the same thing for the builder object so we need to calculate the time now so what i will do i have the time in the system class i will use that so let me just use it like this i am taking a long data type start time is equal to system dot current time in milliseconds okay i'm storing the current time after the execution of this for loop i will again calculate the time and i will subtract the time okay so i will just say s out uh, buffer time okay and i will say plus in the bracket i will again call the system plus system dot current time milliseconds minus that start time and here i will just append milliseconds okay now i will need the same thing again for the builder okay so after this for loop again i will just use this and this time i will just change the name say it will be builder time but once we are done with this operation we need to again store the current time so here i have to call my 
start time variable again and here i have to store the current time so system dot current time milliseconds so after doing this i am again storing the current time of the system and after the execution of this for loop i am again calculating the time so this is what i am trying to do so now let's see what we are getting let me run this okay so it is printing something okay let me check let me stop this Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Actually, I should not print this. This print message should not be there. Okay, let me just remove this from here as well. I just want to append that and I just want to calculate the time. Okay, let me run this now. Yes. For the time being, you can see that it is 0 milliseconds. Let me increase the value. So, let me say 1000 and 1000 for both of them. Okay. So, let's run this now. Yeah, you can see buffer is taking 1 millisecond and builder is taking 0 milliseconds. That means builder takes less time. And if I increase the value even more, now let's see what we get. Let me run this. Okay, you can see. So let me even increase it a little bit more to get the proper output. Okay, you can see here, sir. Yes, yes. Buffer yes, is taking yes. 4 milliseconds and builder time is 3 milliseconds. So, builder is more efficient for larger calculations. Yes, yes, yes. This, this is good. Very nice. Okay. Thank you, sir. That's all. I think I have, I have satisfied your question. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that okay? Yeah, that is fine. That is fine. All right. All right. That's it for this uh, interview. Um, I'll see you. You'll get the results soon. Thank My you, sir. My team will be contacting you very soon. And you'll get the results. Yes. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Have a nice day. Okay.